Hey brother, hey brother, hey brother, hey brother, hey brother, hey brother, hey shippa brother. GM, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to buy some runes via Magic Eden. We're also going to download the Magic Eden wallets, and I'm going to send some funds into that, and then swap those funds from Sol into BTC. So, lots to go through. Let's crack on. If you're new here, make sure you do subscribe. So I think there's a lot of alpha here to be very early with the runes. It kind of reminds me of the early days of NFTs. Back in 2021, people didn't want to get involved with the NFTs straight away because it was a bit of a learning gap, a bit of a hurdle, barrier to entry to actually learn how to do these things. But all in all, it was very simple. You just had to spend some time to understand how things worked out. Same here with runes. It's not a difficult task at all to buy these things, but I think you can really get ahead of the curve by setting aside a bit of time here and learning how this all works. Now, Magic Eden is the go-to place for me, one of the best marketplaces, user experience on this, very good indeed. So just like the NFT run in 2021, you don't wanna be waiting until the kind of bored apes of the runes goes to 100,000 US dollars before the floodgates open and everyone enters, you wanna know what you're doing before that actually occurs. So this is the state of play on CoinGecko as of the 26th of April here, 2024. There is not a lot on that runes category. So we are very, very early. Obviously that comes with higher risk, but potentially higher rewards as well. And now note as well, what I do show in my wallet today, I expect some of those investments to potentially go to zero. And none of this is intended as financial advice, but hopefully the main takeaway is you learn how to use Magic Eden here to buy and sell your runes. So don't take too much notice of the specific runes that I've bought. So first and foremost, we're gonna need a Bitcoin wallet to interact with Magic Eden. Now Magic Eden has its own wallet. I'll link this down below. And this is really good to be honest with you. I believe Exodus wallets have kind of white labeled them this. It has been audited for security purposes and I've just started to use it and I really do like it. Now, the main thing on here, you can see these swaps. So as mentioned, you can convert. So you can deposit Solana into your Solana address for this wallet and then in app swap that into bitcoin so if you don't currently have any bitcoin but maybe you are you know flush with liquidity on solana i'm sure quite a few people are in that kind of position you can just use the wallet itself to convert your soul into bitcoin and have bitcoin on that wallet to buy some runes so simply click download for chrome if that's the extension you're on you want to also pin it to your taskbar so it pops up as well and to get going what you're going to need is to write down your password for said wallet to make sure it's a secure one and store your recovery phrase that will be 12 words that you'll be able to see on that wallet once you've set up your passwords do not store those digitally make sure they're written down on paper then secure them very safely after doing so if you do store them digitally someone can hack you and you can lose all your funds. So just be very careful. So hopefully you've now got the wallet installed. You can still have got some funds on here. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna deposit some funds. So there's a receive button up here. It's gonna show you your Bitcoin address, your Solana, ETH, Base, Polygon, whatever it may be. So if you've got Bitcoin, of course, you can deposit Bitcoin directly. But in this instance here, I'm gonna deposit some Solana. So I'm gonna copy my Solana address here from this Magic Eden wallet. Then just to show you, I've got a wallet here with some salt in it. So this is obviously on the Phantom wallet, just showing you the UI on Jupyter here. And from this Phantom wallet, I'm going to send to that recipient address that I just pulled up from Magic Eden. And I'm going to send five Sol over. So just going to wait for that to come on through. Now, what we're going to do is we're on Magic Eden here. You can see the page here. It's directing us to select a room. We're just going to click into this. So this will come up directly with the ones you own. And then it'll go into kind of like the market cap order of the others in here. So I'm going to be buying some more of this in today's tutorial. The wallet, if it's not logged in, top right hand corner, you just want to log in and that'll direct you to connect your wallet, maybe sign a message on your wallet. And from there, you should have your funds now accessible on Magic Eden. Now, back to the Magic Eden wallet itself. So just opens that. What we're going to go to is this button here, the second one across. And it's going to show, hopefully, yep, we've got my salt in here. So salt, I've got just over five salt in here. Now you see the third tab across, the kind of swapping one here. 
This will allow me to swap my soul into BTC. So if I press max, it's gonna take all of that soul, five and change, and convert it into Bitcoin and deposit into my Bitcoin address here on the Magic Eden wallet. So I will then be funding my Bitcoin wallet here to spend on runes. You can see that's just over 1 million Satoshis and I'm gonna press swap and it just starts the process for me. So nothing further to do at this moment in time. It says swap in progress. You can actually go and view the transactions occurring through there if you wish. And now comes one of the more boring parts of this. The fact is the Bitcoin network is very slow to use. The block times are around 12 minutes, but with the congestion from all the runes transactions going through now, it may take a lot longer. So I would say you need to carve out a good couple of hours here to participate in this and to learn things. But just doing that transaction there, maybe I'll be waiting for 20 minutes, 30 minutes, 40 minutes. Depends how busy the network overall is. So patience is going to be key here. But of course, I can just edit this video out to save you all that boring stuff. But you will have to deal with that yourself. So in the search bar here, you can type in if you know the name of a specific rune collection you like. You can type the name in here and you will be able to pull up those specific runes. But if you don't know of any, Maybe you want to just take a little look through here, maybe go through some social media, see what people are getting excited about. I found that these ones have some form of following online, hence these are the ones that I've bought, but that doesn't necessarily mean these are going to be good investments. It's kind of a spray and pray approach for me at this moment in time, but just to show you here, so Mr. Yen, Japanese businessman, is the one that I do wish to buy a bit of, and I think I've got currently enough BTC to buy a small amount, so... Let's just go for total price low to high. And so what you can see from this is the quantity of the runes you're gonna buy. So in this example, if you buy this one, you can click on the plus, you're gonna be buying 500 of these runes. They are priced in Satoshis here at 135 sats each. The dollar denomination amounts and the total price in Satoshis at the top and dollars at the bottom. Then for the collection itself, you can see here, Mr. Yen, Japanese businessman, price is around 88 sats. The market cap is around 18 Bitcoins. That's $1.1 million. And you can see the volume down here as well. And just kind of where I'm sat as well, the supply, 21 million. Most of the runes collections are going with this 21 million max supply as per BTC. And so pretty easy to work out. You can see market caps, etc. This is the lowest total price I can buy on here right now. It's around $43. All you have to do though, as long as you've got funds in your wallet, it's going to show you the price, the network fees around $9. I have set my network fee to high. In the bottom right hand corner, as I just quickly eliminate myself, you can see high, standard, low. I've got mine set to high to try and make the processes a bit quicker for me. And so that's why the total fees are a little bit higher than what you could pay. So overall, I'm buying 43 bucks worth of the tokens, paying around eight bucks in transaction fee. So 52 bucks, pretty much all in. And if I just click on buy 500 runes, well here in the wallet now, it shows you, it's gonna deduct around 70,000 Satoshis, 50 bucks, network fee, all that good stuff. Click approve. And this is going to broadcast it to the Bitcoin network for me. So you can view the transaction. If you do that, it's gonna take you to the blockchain explorer. And it's going to give you an estimate of how long this is potentially going to take to go through. So it says roughly nine minutes for this to go through. If you leave this up, it will make a nice jingling noise once your transaction has gone through. And you could just watch this. It's a bit like watching paint dry. And sometimes this will change from nine minutes and go up to 18, so on and so forth, depending on how much congestion there is. But you can watch the transaction. But once it's been broadcast like this, I haven't had any failures, so I'm assuming it will just go through. Now in the background, we've potentially got the swap from Sol into Bitcoin coming through. So I'm gonna be adding a little bit more liquidity here, but how do we actually see these tokens? Because it's not that obvious. If we go to the top right-hand corner of the Magic Eden page, my items doesn't seem to bring anything up, which is a little bit annoying. But if you go into the Magic Eden wallet itself, so that is your extension on your browser, you go into the wallet page, the second tab across. So as an example, we're going to Mr. Yen again. It says, Mr. Yen, Japanese businessman, activity can be viewed on Magic Eden. So we click that link. Now this takes us to a different page. 
And the URL for this is magiceden.io forward slash runes forward slash portfolio. And this is where it shows you your actual portfolio now. So from here, you can see three collections I've bought into Aniko Catbus, Casey's mum has got it going on, Mr. Yen, Japanese businessman, and you can see the activity log as well. So broadcast, received, broadcast, received, then the most recent one, broadcast, waiting for that to be a received. So simply waiting for those runes to hit my wallet as per the Bitcoin network confirming those transactions for me. Now, if you do want to sell a collection, we're going to click into the Mr. Yen collection again here. We were obviously on buy previously, but if you want to sell, you click on the word sell and you will be able to sell the amounts, the kind of batch amounts that you bought previously. And from here, once you click on that, you can edit the amount of sats. So say you've previously bought it for like 80 odd sats. Maybe you want to sell it for like 105 as an example. This will then allow you to list it for sale at the price you just tapped in. It shows you the total amount you would receive. Once you actually press the button to list it, there's going to be a network charge to you as well again. So do bear in mind you want to account for that. Otherwise, you're not going to be profitable if you're trading, like buying stuff for like, say, 90 sats and selling it for 92. You're not really going to turn a profit on that kind of thing. So just do be aware of that. So that is how you would sell. I do not currently wish to sell, so I'm not going to be doing that and following it through as it will just happen pretty damn quickly. The UI on this, though, very good and slick overall. And if as an example, you did want to come in and just sweep a load of these rooms. You can use this slider here. If you've got enough funds, maybe you're a bit of a whale, you can come in and just start sweeping huge amounts of these collections. It will let you know how much you're paying and it will pump it all through in one transaction for you. So if you do wish to kind of sweep the floor as in the NFT verbiage, you can also do that here on Magic Eden also. Then if you just check the portfolio page top middle, that is also another way to actually see your current holdings of these. So the last thing to show you on here is you can split the lots down as well. So you'll be buying like these batches of these runes. So as an example, I bought this in one lot, you can see 30,000 of these tokens. So if this starts to go like 10x up, 100x up, it's highly unlikely. Let me just remove myself. It's highly unlikely someone's going to want to buy 30,000 tokens in one batch if that's worth like 20 grand or something, there's going to be not enough buyers potentially on the market as not everyone's going to be dealing with that much in one single transaction. But on the right hand side, you can see over here, it says split. And this allows you to take your quantity, so say 30,000, split it into two, three, four. You can split this into up to 10 here. And that will change my 30,000 lot down into 10 batches of 3,000 instead. So split the runes. And then in your portfolio here, you will have 10 lots of 3,000 instead. So I think that will become very useful if you are lucky enough to buy a collection that goes up a lot in price, as you probably want to take profit on smaller amounts, not be fully in or fully out of the market. Now I'm simply going to wait to see when my BTC arrives from that SOL conversion. Could be a little bit of a while. As I mentioned, patience is definitely a virtue when trading runes. But Magic Eden, definitely the best interface I've used. Very good experience. And the Magic Eden wallets, big thumbs up for that as well. So hope you enjoyed this one. Subscribe if you're new. Peace.